Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm in my Type 5 Heavy. Yes, that's right. My Type 5 Heavy. On Himmelsdorf. No better place for a Type 5 Heavy than Himmelsdorf. Platooned up with Gilby and his 279E, Thedirian and his Patton. And we were playing this game a little while ago. And I just felt like I needed to take it easy game off. And a lot of people don't like this tank. Whether it's playing it or playing against it, uh, a lot of people just don't like the thought of HE rounds, which I talked a little bit about in the ship barn game. However, if you know how to take care of this tank, it is just a hit point balloon to pad your damage in a game. Now, if you're playing against a good player in this tank, they'll still be able to utilize their armor quite well. Um, but if you can dispatch it, it is just a huge 2800 hit point balloon to really maximize your damage output. Now there are two gun options here. I just don't think that the non HE gun has adequate penetration for tier 10 heavy tank uh, just that gun overall is not that fun to use and there's just a lot better heavy tanks in the game if you're gonna go with the standard rounds so like my Sheridan I roll with the derp gun on my Sheridan because I feel like if I want to get that flavor then I can just use my Ram Panzer. Um, but when I just want the laughs, I'm gonna go for the Derp Gun. And a lot like this. <clears throat> when I'm playing Type 5, I want the Derp Gun. I don't want to have to think as much. Um, I want to be able to just slam shells in wherever I want, get damage every time. Be a hit point pinata for my team. Push chokes. Just be an aggressive mofo. Slap that E3 for 500 in the top of the head. Nothing he can do about it. Couldn't angle any differently. It wouldn't have changed anything. But I do feel bad here because I end up pushing this E3 into the side of my Panzer 7. He probably wasn't too thrilled about that. I didn't realize exactly uh, where I was pushing to until he shot. And I realized, man, I probably could have saved my buddy some hit points there. But I try to back up, and the Type 5 is not nimble, so we're unable to make it back without smashing the other Panzer 7 behind me. Now I recognize that we lost the 9-0 line, and I need to get back up here, hoping these two can at least finish this push off. But honestly, I'd prefer them just to come back and help me. Um, we would be able to defend this 8 line fairly well. Um, but they decide to press on. Could have taken that shot at the IS-7, but it wasn't aimed well enough, I didn't feel like. Uh, so we were able to just catch the next guy coming. That was a Yazi. So we're in a 5, five to 10 situation. There's two artillery, so you can kind of minus them off. Party doesn't make a huge difference on this map. I'm able to get a sh shot in the side. Which brings us up to 1800 damage, 500 assisted. We've been blocked 1400 so far. They are capping, so we need to get pressure off the cap. We'll trundle our way over here. Just looking for shots. And the IS 7 backs up a little too far. Don't have to worry about aiming. Just hit the rear, hit the engine deck. Splash up that IS-7, we're good to go. Right, so this is does. I think went to flank my Panzer 7, not realizing that I was here. One shot, we race him. And now the FB-215B is behind me, and that is not good. British tanks can dismantle this tank very quickly. 
excuse me, very quickly. So we're going to pursue him. He realizes that he's got more tanks behind him, so he's going to circle back around. It was just a Sturv S1, which there already takes care of. And now it is just two left. Bad Jack comes through. I'm able to get a shot into the Bad Chat. <coughs> Shut him down. I know there's two tanks up on the nine line. What I'm really nervous about is the FE215B. He really can do a lot of damage to me. Get a shot into him. Take 350 hit points. Even though he was side scraping. Didn't matter. Well, Patton's in front. He gets my track off. My heavy tank should be able to just keep an eye on the medium tank that was in B3. And really what I want to do is just kind of make sure that this Patton can't make an aggressive push. Uh, but more so just find shots into this FE-215B. And, and what every FE-215B does well is getting lit on fire. So we choose to light him on fire there. That's just pure skill. Um, just lighting him on fire. And the standard B comes over thinking that he's going to be able to help out. We quickly erase him. And now we are in a 2v2 situation. Now, this FE215B could absolutely obliterate me with his DPM, um, but he's just been so terrified with my derp gun uh, that he just did not want to try to handle it. And now he is left to handle it by himself, except I guess he did have a waffle kind of sitting around doing nothing. And now it's time for that waffle to step up. Can the waffle do it? The Waffle definitely has enough penetration to get through a Type 5 Heavy. So we bounce that first shot. Unfortunately, we were unable to feather a shot in there. Try to get some splash damage there. And then the Waffle backs up. We're able to bounce another shot. And now I feel like he's just going to avoid me. So whichever side I decide to go down, he's probably just going to go down the other. But since my heavy tanks go down B line, I'm going to go down the A line. Hopefully we can pinch them together, but I am not quick at all. It is a full health waffle, but this is also where the derp gun comes in handy, because the derp can erase that paper thin turret that the waffle has very quickly. Unfortunately for us, the waffle lights the super conqueror on fire, and now I am in a 1v1 situation with a full health waffle. Now me, I love tier 9 waffle. I think that's one of the best tier 9 tank destroyers in the game. I think can actually absolutely rip I love to play frontline support for my heavy tanks in my waffle. It's a little crazy to think that, but um, you know, if you're in a city match, if you can just reverse angle your gun and get nice shots to support your heavy tanks, you can tear people apart. How good that gun is! So I know the power of the waffle. However, this guy has yet to pen me, so now I'm going to get a little overconfident. And I'm going to pretty much just shove myself right in his face and be like, you know what, buddy? Let's see what you got. First shot, blasts him. And now I'm like, easy, we'll finish this up with a ram. We ram him, he's down to 131. Um, and now he's starting to get away. He's got a shot in my side. He leaves me on a sliver. And we're able to shut him down for 6,200 damage game, 4,500 blocked, 500 assisted. Just a fun game overall in the Type 5, which is kind of weird to say. But we pick up 8 kills too, so a nice Radley Walters in the Type 5 Heavy. 
the beast that just does not die. That's what this thing is. Send a message to my super conk, say thanks for the help. Um, had he just kind of thrown his tank at the end there, I definitely would not have been able to handle all those tanks at different angles. I'll quit babbling. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.